before entering into actual video let me just give you an introduction about us uh, we are endurance engineering academy we offer online video course for gate exam preparation okay and also we offer full video course for gate xc okay so if you are planning for writing xc you can visit our website for our full video course this is our website link and you can see this link in the description also and you can call us at this number or you can whatsapp us uh, we will be getting back to you uh, with the required if you have any queries or else you can message your queries to our uh, mail id support at uh, support at entrance engg academy dot in okay let us proceed for the video and this video is an extract from our full video course this problem is a very good problem actually instead of saying that it is a, as a problem we can say that it is a concept okay because we are going to learn how to draw a ts diagram from pv diagram for a polytropic process okay uh, this uh, problem will clear all your doubts regarding the conversion of pv diagram into ts diagram uh, so just try pass the video try to read the question and uh, try to do it okay then i will be continuing it right so two polytropic process undergone by a perfect gas okay so perfect gas they given that it is air okay so nothing but an ideal gas a perfect gas is type of an ideal gas or shown in the pressure volume coordinates so this is pressure volume coordinates which representation shows correctly the above process on ts diagram so which representation uh, representation shows correctly this diagram in ts diagram so they are just asking about this two in ts diagram and they given some options a b c d okay now so we already discussed about this equation when i am discussing about polytropic heat transfer in our uh, what is that in our uh, third chapter heat transfer work transfer and first law of thermodynamics now here what i am going to do okay what i am going to do was i am going to use this formula for uh, converting this pv diagram to ts diagram it's very very simple listen first point we will take this one to two process okay let me write it here 1 to 2 process okay see if you take 1 to 2 process as you could see that volume is increasing pressure is decreasing so volume increases pressure decreases it's an expansion process okay keep that in mind and um, and uh, you can just keep that in mind and now come for the value of n okay n is 1.2 right so n value is 1.2 and we know that air for air gamma value is 1.4 so what will happen to c poly now what will be the value of c poly see significance of c poly i already discussed uh, in our uh, entropy chapter sorry uh, in our heat transfer chapter itself okay um the third chapter so c poly will be equal to n is 1.2 gamma is 1.4 n is 1.2 gamma is 1.4 so automatically automatically this term will become negative Okay, 1.2 minus 1 positive, 1.2 minus 1.4 negative. So C poly will be negative. Polytropic specific heat is negative. So what happens to Q poly? Q poly is what? M into C poly into delta T. Okay, mass will remain constant and is going to be positive. Not at all a problem. C poly, that is polytropic specific heat. since n was 1.2 which is less than 1.4 c poly i'm getting negative and what happens to change in temperature so as it is an expansion process so temperature will decrease which means it is negative so this is negative this is negative so q poly will be positive so heat transfer will be positive positive into negative into negative it will be positive so what will be our heat transfer ds change in uh, or heat transfer or just uh, sorry what will be our entropy entropy change ds that's going to be d dash q by t if i want to find s2 minus s1 that will be integration okay integration of d dash q by t so we know that d dash q that is q poly is positive okay and we know temperature will never become negative so this is also positive which means change which means change in entropy is positive so change in entropy is positive change in temperature is negative which means temperature is decreasing 
entropy is increasing. So, how will be my curve? Let me draw it here as I was shortage of uh, space TS diagram entropy positive entropy change is positive so it increases so it has to be from left to right temperature decreases from top to bottom so my curve will look something like this okay from 1 to 2 okay temperature decreases entropy increases now come for this case 1 to 3 case okay 1 to 3 case as we know n value is 1.5 let me erase it so in this case 1 to 3 n is 1.5 gamma is 1.4 so c poly what will happen to c poly n is greater than gamma so this will be positive this is also positive so total term will be positive no issues what will happen to q poly polytropic specific heat sorry polytropic heat transfer c poly into delta t we know that c poly is uh, positive in this case okay c poly is positive and m will be always positive what about temperature change in the temperature as you could see volume is increasing expansion process so here also the temperature is going to decrease okay and pressure pressure decreases volume increases so it's an expansion process where temperature will be decreasing so negative process okay that is delta t is negative now q poly becomes negative which means q poly negative which means change in entropy is d dash q by t q heat transfer is negative temperature is positive which means change in entropy will be negative change in entropy negative in the sense entropy decreases temperature is also already decreasing right because change in temperature is negative so temperature also decreasing entropy also decreasing how will be my curve my curve will be something like this okay, this will be one three so, which option is matching our option was uh, B, okay. So, 1 to 3 decreasing, 1 to 2 that, okay. So, one conclusion I can make from this, a simple conclusion, okay, very, very simple conclusion. When you are concluding, when you are converting from PV diagram to TS diagram, okay, when you are converting PV diagram to TS diagram, if N value lies between 1 and gamma, if n value lies between 1 and gamma, as you could see here, 1.2, okay, this case, first case, n value lying between 1 and gamma, then whatever uh, the whatever the uh, geometry of PV diagram, same will be there in TS diagram. That is PV diagram and T TS diagram will be identical. So, 1 to 2, okay, 1 to 2 in PV diagram is like this. 1 to 2 in TS diagram is also like this. And this could be, you can use it as a shortcut. If n value is between 1 and gamma, if n value is between 1 and gamma, then PV diagram and TS diagram will be identical. It can be used as a shortcut. And how to draw that actual method as I explained to you by using C poly concept. Okay, C poly becomes negative, Q becomes positive, change in entropy becomes positive. And uh, C poly become positive, Q become, um, Q become negative because temperature is decreasing. So, entropy change will become negative. Okay.